Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve another signal flow graph problem. And the problem is find the overall transfer that is overall gain of the system. Gain is nothing but transfer function, right? Find the overall gain of the system whose signal flow graph is shown in figure. And this is our given signal flow graph. Our first step is we have to calculate the forward path gain. So here in this problem, you see there are how many nodes? Totally there are 8 nodes and the first forward path is it starts from node 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right. You see here this is your first forward path and this forward path consists of only arrows which moves only forward. Right. So this is our first forward path. So what is the first thing? We have to calculate the forward path gain. So forward path gain is nothing but just we have to multiply the gain which is present in each and every branch in that path. So here in this case we will be having G2 into G4 into G6. Right. So V1 is equal to G2, G4 and G6. And the next one is again when you look at the problem you see this path that is 1, 2, 7, 8, 5, 6. This is also a forward path and you see the arrow branches always moves forward. Okay, so this is our second forward path. So again the gain of this second forward path will be 1 into G3 into G5 into G7. So write it accordingly. So G3 G5 and G7. This is the gain of your second forward path. Right. And the next one is. Just consider the nodes. You see this path. 1, 2, 3, 8, 5 and 6. That is it starts from node 1 to 2 and 3 and then 8 and then 5 and 6. Again this is also yeah, another forward path because you see the arrow head. This arrow head moves forward. Here moves forward and here also it moves forward. And here also it moves forward. So this is our second forward path. Again to calculate the gain just you have to multiply the values. That is G2 into G1 into G7 because in this branch and this branch you are having only one. So G2, G1 and G7. This is the gain of this path. And again the next thing is you have to consider 1, 2, 7, 4, 5 and 6. That is this path exactly. Again this is also your forward path. So just write down the gain here. So the gain value will be G3, G8 and G6. Right. And the next one is. Now consider the path here. 1, 2, 7, 4, 3, 8, 5, 6. Right. It starts from here. It moves here. And it goes like this. This A path and this path. And finally it reaches the output. So again this also. Yeah forward path because you just see the arrow hit here it starts it moves forward again here also it moves forward here also it moves forward moves forward here moves forward and finally here also and here also and now we are asked to calculate the gain right so just multiply the respective values here so when you multiply you will be having will start from here here it is g3 and this branch we are having g8 and here we are having minus h1 and here g1 and here g7 right so here when you bring this minus sign to the front you will be having minus g1 g3 g7 g8 and h1 right and now consider our last forward path so here 1 2 3 8 7 4 5 and 6. So again here just multiply the values. When you multiply you will be having you see G2 G1 minus H2 G8 
and G6. So when you bring this negative sign to the front, you will be having G1, G2, G6, G8 and H2. Right. So totally you are having 6 forward paths in this problem. And our second step is individual loop game. So here when you look at this problem, you see how many loops we are having. A loop is nothing but it will start and end at the same node after traveling through some other nodes. So here when you observe carefully between 3 and 4 you see this is a loop. Right. And again between 7 and 8 there is an another loop. Right. And again when you consider the nodes 3, 4, 7, 8 you see. It starts here, it travels here and again it comes here and again it ends with 7. So this is also an another loop. So here I have drawn separately. That is node forming between 3 and 4. Here I said right. The node which is formed between 3 and 4. This loop and between 7 and 8 and again between 3, 4 and 7, 8. That is starts here, goes here, travels here and again reaches the 7. So totally we are having three loops. I have drawn three these three loops separately. So now we are asked to that is we are need to calculate the gain here. So just multiply the values here G4 minus H1. So I will be having minus G4 H1. And next one here minus G5 H2. And here L3 just multiply the elements you see G8 minus H1 multiplied by G1 minus H2. Minus H2. Right. When you multiply, minus into minus will become plus. So, here you will be having G1, G8, H1 and H2. Right. This is our step number 2. And the next one is gain product of two non-touching loops. Here again you have to find two loops which won't touch each other that is they won't have any common nodes so just consider our first loop this l1 and l2 here l1 has 3 4 and here l2 has 7 and 8 so there are no common nodes between these two loops so just you have to you have we can consider these two loops as a pair of non touching loops and again, when you consider this loop with this loop, you see here also nodes 3 and 4 are present and here also 3 and 4 are present. So, these two are not possible. Again, when you consider this one 7 and 8, here also 7 and 8 and again, we can't take these two loops also. So, we will be having only one pair of non-touching loops. Right. So, gain product of two non-touching loops. So, here in this case, just multiply the values. So, when you multiply, you will be having G4 minus H1 get multiplied with G5 into minus H2. So, when you multiply, you will be having G4, G5, H1 and H2. Right, minus into minus will become plus. So, this is our value of M1. And the next step is calculation of del and del k. So, the formula is 1 minus sum of individual loop gain. So, here the individual loops, how many individual loops we are having? We are having 3 individual loops. So, just write down the values here. So, individual loop gain will be minus, first let me write it as L1 plus L2 plus L3, right? Plus gain product, sum of gain product of all possible combinations of 2 non-touching loops. So, here I am having only one such pair. So, it is M1. Just substitute the values here. You will be having 1 minus of minus G4H1 minus G5H2 plus G1, G8, H1, H2. Right. Plus and the value of M1 is G4, G5, H1 and H2. So, 1 when you... Take this minus sign inside, you will be having 1 plus G4H1 plus G5H2 minus G1, G8, H1, H2 plus G4, G5, H1 and H2. Right, this is your value of del. And the next one is del1. So, here the del1 is 
as i already said how many forward pawns we will be having the respective values of del so in this problem we are having six forward pawns so i have to calculate del 1 del 2 del 3 up to del 6 so the first one is we are now going to calculate del 1 so here this is your first forward pawn right you have to find you have to check whether there is any loop which is not touching this first forward pawn so here it is clear right this is your first forward pawn and there is a loop which is not touching this forward pawn so here the formula is del1 is equal to 1 minus sum of individual loop gain again the same formula as here plus sum of gain product of etc etc so here we are having only one loop so our formula gets limited to this which is equal to 1 minus here what is the loop gain of this loop it will be minus g5 h2 when you bring this minus sign inside it will be become 1 plus g5 h2 and this is the value of your del1 right and the next one is we are going to calculate our del2 so for calculating del2 this is our second forward path and again there is a loop which is not touching this forward path so now again according to the formula 1 minus what is your loop gain for this loop it will be g4 into minus h1 so minus g4 h1 when you move this minus sign inside you will be having 1 plus g4 h1 right this is your value of del2 and we are going to find our del3 so this is your third forward path and to this third forward path there is no loop because it covers most of the nodes here right only 4 and 7 are left and there are no loops formed with these nodes so when there are no loops automatically the value of del3 becomes 1 right similarly for del4 also you see there are no loops which do not touch this forward path so again the value of del4 becomes 1 for del5 it covers all the nodes you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so again the value there is there will be no loops possible so the value of del5 is also 1 and again for del6 you see again it covers all the nodes and again the value of del6 will be equal to 1 here so while solving while writing in exam no need to draw all these forward paths just in order to make the concept clear i have drawn it again here separately right no need to draw you can just observe the forward path and you can write the respective values of del1 del2 like that and our next step is finding the transfer function so here 1 by del summation of k pk del k we are having six forward path so there will be six values here that is p1 del1 p2 del2 p3 del3 up to p6 and del6 just substitute the values here that's all so first one is p1 so here what is the value of p1 this is a gain of your first forward path so the value is g2 g4 and g6 what is the value of del1 del1 is 1 plus g5 h2 plus what is p2 p2 is g3 g5 g7 what is the value of del2 del2 is 1 plus g4 h1 plus what is the value of p3 p3 here is g1 g2 g7 and del3 is 1 plus p4 p4 is g3 g8 g6 and the value of del4 is 1 plus p5 so here p5 we are having a negative sign so minus g1 g3 g7 g8 h1 multiplied by 1 and the next one is i am having p6 and the value of p6 is minus g1 g2 g6 g8 h2 which is multiplied by 1 right so here i have substituted the values of p1 del1 the whole term divided by del so here what is the value of del the value of del is 1 plus g4 h1 plus g5 h2 minus g1 g8 h1 h2 plus 
G4, G5, H1 and H2. So, this is our required transfer function or this is our required gain of the given signal flow graph. Hope you people are clear with this. Thank you.